Hello everybody, this is Chris, and in this video we're going to go over if and else if, and I'm also going to introduce you to sending uh, data or sending information to the server using POST. And we're going to do this by creating a little game. Now you remember back in the day we used to play a little game where you know you guess a number and then you'd get a hint whether it was higher or lower, warmer, cold, whatever, you know, and then if you got the number right, then you got the number right. Well, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it in PHP. So, to get started, I'm going to use HTML5 boilerplate, which is from Emmet, and I'll just call this uh, guessing game. And this is just the basic Emmet's basic HTML5 boilerplate. So, I'm going to put it have an h3 tag here and say guess the number and then I'm gonna have a form and it's gonna have a method which is post so you can post our information to the server and we're gonna have two input fields we're gonna have a text field and a submit button so the first one is going to be the text we're going to give it a name so we can use it in our post so we're going to say guess we'll give it a placeholder which is HTML5's placeholder I'm going to say uh, guess a number and we're going to give it the HTML5 attribute of required and you'll see what that does in a second next we need a submit button so input and we're going to say submit and the value is going to be guess, so value equals guess. So let's look and see what we've got here. So we got guess a number, we can put a number in, and we can hit guess, and see, that's the required, the HTML5 required attribute gave us this. So it's just a quick and dirty way to do like validation, well not really validation, but make sure that the field is actually filled out. So I'm just going to go ahead and capitalize this, and then now we can get done with the PHP. So above our doc type, I'm just going to say uh, PHP, and we're going to leave our trailing tag because this isn't only what we're using. So we need a number. So I'm going to set the number to say six. Okay. Now we need another variable, which is a guess. So guess equals nothing for right now. We're just going to leave that empty. And then we're going to actually go to assign it. I guess we could assign it now, but I'll leave it like this. And then we'll assign it. So guess equals, and this is the post. Uh, how you post like the post command in PHP. It's dollar sign underscore then capitalized then post, and what we're going to post is this right here, the name. So the name of this is guess. So now we can do our if else, if and if else, if guess is equal to number okay then the person got it correct and we can say echo you are correct and let's spell R right now if they didn't correct let's do something else so if if guess equals number, so we'll say else, else if guess is greater than number, I spell guess right, if guess is greater than number, go ahead and I'm going to echo your guess was too 
hi and please try again And then we're going to say else if, let's go ahead and give us a little space here, else if, now if it's less than, so if guess less than number, then we're going to do this. We're just going to say echo Your guess was too low. Please try again. Let me go ahead and add that in there for proper grammar. So there we have it. And then we can say up here we'll go ahead and give answer. going to do here. Let's change this. Let's say instead of echo one, we're going to say answer equals. We'll just leave it blank for right now. We're just going to say instead of echo one, we're going to say answer. So I know there's a way to do this and I forgot what it was. So answer equals well, correct. We'll say answer equals answer equals. So, and then below the form here, we'll just say we'll just have a p tag, and inside here we'll say PHP, and we'll say echo answer. So we go out, you're going to immediately see an error. And it's because this number hasn't been defined yet. So to get rid of this error, if you see, we'll, we'll say 3 and we'll say guess. It says, your guess was too low, please try again. And it got rid of the error. That's because that wasn't in there. And to do this, we can go up here and we'll say error reporting. And we can either say false or we can say 0. So. And that'll turn error reporting off. And then go back out and we can refresh and we don't get an error. So let's go ahead and play around that. So we'll go ahead and guess four. And it says your guess was too low. We'll guess eight. Your guess was too high. We'll guess seven. Guess is too high. And then we'll just go ahead and say six and you are correct. So there you see how if how if and else if works. And you also see how post works. So we're actually sending the value of this text field to the server to evaluate it against number. So I hope this tutorial gave you a better idea of how to use if and else if. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.